Hi guys, this is what we'll be working on today. So before I get started, I totally forgot to mention what the stamp said. So I just want to read that to you guys so you can have that. Um, it says, a good life is when you smile often, dream big, laugh a lot, and realize how blessed you are for what you have. So um, I just, I hadn't read it. Um, so the video is going to start in just a second. Also, if there are any if, uh, links that are not Local King links, they will be affiliate links and um, just full disclosure. That means if you purchase any items through those links, because I did end up using quite a bit of things here, um, I will make a small commission there. So, all right, let's get started. Hi guys, so today I'll be doing a review of this really cute set from um, Local King. It's called Fleeing Beauty, and they did send these items free of charge for my review, and all opinions are my own. Um, what's really sweet about this one is just, I, I like the way it's so intricate. Like, it has a little um, lotus, I guess, trees here, and then it has a sentiment, and it has that beautiful little bird. And look how intricate those dies are. But, extra special, uh, Lisa sent two, one to give away and one for my review. So I will be giving this away in this video. So um, again, my giveaways are real straightforward. You don't have to jump around blogs or do anything extra special. All you have to do is say, enter me in the description box. And so obviously be a subscriber to my channel. A thumbs up would be great. Um, the rules will be at the end of the video. I believe today's like the 15th or the 16th. What day is today? 16th. So I will close the giveaway on the... 21st of uh, July 2020 and then I'll draw a name using random.org on the following day on the 22nd okay so those rules will be at the very end of the video but definitely say enter me um, I know a lot of times people leave questions here I don't answer them because I like the comments to be in order of just people entering so um, I won't be answering any questions here but just know I will be reading the comments I always do you guys are really uh, awesome there so I'll read the comments but I won't have any response for them so thank you so much Lisa for saying that that's really really sweet so um Look forward to winning that, possibly. And do not forget, for the month of July, she gave us a 20% off uh, coupon, and the discount code will also be in the description box, along with the link to the set. And um, you can get 20% off your regular price purchase. I believe right now she has a monthly special, if it's still going. Um, another really sweet set. It has like a little hummingbird and like little feeders and stuff. It's so cute. So you might want to check that out while you're there. Um, okay, so... I am going to do this today, but real quickly, um, I wanted to show you something I thought that was just fun. And I had mentioned this to some people in the comments, because um, uh, when I made this safari, the wild, what was it called, wild safari? Let me see. The card that goes with, yeah, with the wild safari. It's kind of, you know, it has like more of a safari feel. And I really like the way this elephant looks very real. So um, I believe this one is a combo set. Yeah. It has the die and the uh, stamp. Um... And so what I did was I said I want to make him look a little more like kind of fun because I like the way he looks super real. And I was a little bit off on my cutting, so I'm just going to use it anyway because this is just a quick um, idea that I had. So it's not enough to make a video for, so I just think it's kind of fun. Uh, so real quickly I'll just go through that. And then I got a little balloon. I thought he'd be cute if he was holding a balloon. So this balloon comes from the Mr. Dress Up set, which is super adorable. Um, and it has its stamps and dies here, so I have the dies over here, and that's the little hats, dies that you can pick up to dress him up with, which are super cute. So all I did was stamp the, um, I already stamped him the way I did in the video, so if you haven't seen that video, I'll link in the description box. And, um, so I already stamped that up, and I'm, I'm just going to color it, color it however you like with whatever things you like, and I think a nice red balloon is always fun. Let me see how red this is. That's pretty red. And so I'm just going to color this in. And since this is watercolor, I'm just trying to give it a little highlight here by doing less red there, but deeper on the top. And that's literally all you have to do for that one. Eh, now I'll make the ties red too, I suppose. So I'm going to let this dry. And I'm just going to uh, trim it out really quickly. I know you guys are like, what, what are we doing here? <laughs> it's just something really fun I just wanted to, see, to do. So once that dries, I'm going to hit it with a heat gun. I'm just going to roll it through just so that that part cuts out. And I have my little aperture here to help me. So I can just open this up like this. And I can see exactly where, especially with the balloon. Because see down here, I thought I was good, but I don't see the string yet. So make sure you see your little string. Everything's good. And then put it back and roll it through. And I'll be right back. And so when you pop it out, obviously it's still going to be attached a little bit to that body, but we don't need any of that. I just always leave this together like this. So what we need to do is just trim that away. And his little hands there, but basically it's a line, and I'm not being too particular about it, so I'm just going to cut along that line. And I'm just kind of making that part up. <laughs> okay, so now we have a little balloon here. 
super cute. We have our little elephant. And just one last piece I need. Uh, I'm going to cut this um, Queen for a Day crown. And if you guys remember, you have the, if you don't watch my video, my videos often on my channel here on VNA Creates, um, <laughs> you have some homework to do. So you can see how I did these papers when I did a Spellbinders video um, not too long ago. So I'm just going to use this to cut a little crown. And this just reminds me of like those vintage photos where they kind of make fun, like not make fun, but <laughs> like dress them up kind of funny or do fun things. And that's kind of the, the feeling I got from this little guy. So I'm just going to cut this out right quick. I got all these little guys, but anyway. So once I get those done, I'll get those done in just a second. And I want to use some of these art papers that we made the other day when I was reviewing some other items. Um, as you can see there. I just have all these papers. Oh, that one's a cute one. But I want to try this one, I suppose. And so all I want to do is just cut this down. I'm not even sure exactly how big I'm going to need this. Then I can put it on a card front or do something, put it in a journal page. I like to get a little bit of the edge and then I'll cut it down however I think I should later. And it doesn't need to be that tall, so I'll just cut that there. And my plan was just to stick him down like this. Super cute. Give him a little crown and put the balloon in there. So let me pop these guys out and we'll finish you it. You know what? That's a lot matchy matchy. I'm going to get rid of that because the red balloon, the red back, you know, I think it's better this way. So basically I'm going to take this little guy and you can put it through wherever you like so it looks like he's holding it because um, the way she does her dies, it has like a little cut. So you can put him like here or wherever you want to put your balloon. And then I'm going to put this on here and just leave it sticking off the top. There's the four inch um, wide piece of paper. I don't know how tall it is right now. But I think that's really cute. And then to finish it off, so I'm just going to glue all those things down just with glue. Just something fun to do. I'm just going to take a micron pen and just add some stars. Just to make it a little more whimsical. So I hope you guys like that idea. I think that was really fun for like a little artsy page or just a card that's kind of funny and happy birthday or whatever. So, alright. <laughs> Let me move on to today's uh, review video. Uh, let's see here. And I'll have links to all those other videos that kind of make it more make more sense as far as what I did to get everything else going. Um, so I think for this one, what I want to do, I don't, I, you know, I don't know. Um, maybe some gold embossing. I think that might be nice. Okay, let me grab some paper because I have a feeling I had this sitting here and it's been sitting here. It's when I play with the alcohol inks on a local King paper, which I think they're out of, but I'm sure that means plenty of you guys have picked some up. Again, whatever paper it is that you like to use your alcohol inks, so it's another video that you guys can refer to um, to see about this. And I believe this right now is four and a quarter by five and a half. So I probably would trim it down a little bit, but for now, um, this is what it is. If I trim it, I'm going to trim some off this edge and off the top to make it four by five five and a quarter. Um, but let me get what we need for this and we'll put together a nice little card. Okay, I think I've decided what I want to do. Um, I was just thinking, do I want to stamp it on black paper to make it pop? But no, I think we're good. So I'm going to take um, this stamp and then of course a little cardinal or bird. I don't know if he's a little cardinal. Kind of looks like one. Um, and then we have our sentiment that I will use today. So I'll just bring out the whole thing. Usually I just take off what I need. But for right now I'm going to use this guy. And I am going to uh, stamp them in gold pigment and then I will emboss it to keep that uh, gold in place. And I'm going to use my little buddy guy since I always forget to do that. And people always remind me and I know this is something that's out in the world, but um, I don't know. Okay, this is very dusty. <laughs> Try to wipe that down. Is the point for it to be super dusty? I don't know. Okay. Um, so I just have some gold pigment stamp pad. I believe Colorbox isn't even a company anymore, so whatever gold ink you have, or whatever ink you have, I guess it doesn't have to be gold. But this you really gotta pile it on because it just, that pigment ink at the beginning sometimes it's kinda dry, so it was, that's probably a good amount. I'm just gonna give it a good stamping and hopefully that's what's weird to me it's like you dry them you emboss it maybe I should have used the powder thing after I stamp but then I'd smear it because it's this stuff you know what I'm saying uh, pigment inks are the worst <laughs> so they smear really badly unless you seal it in or really wait for it to dry and I'm talking about like days 
Um, okay, so I have that. And now I'm going to get this on here. Just clear embossing powder. Hey, that worked like a charm. I can see that I don't have all that over extra powder like I normally get. And I had to kind of clean it up, but that's pretty good. I do not know where I got that pad from because people might ask. Um, just look up for, you know, wherever you like to shop. Um, embossing Buddy or something like that. So I'm gonna hit it with my heat tool. And once it starts turning color and you see that it's going, just move to the next area, okay? You don't have to go like this. So you just kind of keep it and just keep moving. It's not so much ink on it. I probably could have done like an echo stamp of it, you know, because I'm probably going to put it in this bottom corner just to kind of have something in the background. But I wiped it off before I <laughs> thought about that. But you can always stamp it somewhere else because there's so much ink on that. I just wipe it down. So let me get my little... I'm going to use this same paper to do my cardinal or bird on the other side there. And I always like to wait for my embossing to cool down before I roll it through the uh, die cutting machine. I don't know if that makes any difference, but that's just what I do, so I keep doing it. Um, and people ask me all the time what my favorite stamp positioner is. I don't know. I have several, and I don't hardly use them, but I do use them for this. This is just the super old one from where Memory Keepers it was their first one. I didn't really care for the second iteration of it, but some people love that one, so, you know, and I have it. So, I don't know. Um, I need to try my Tim Holtz one. Everyone swears by that one, too. All right. So just in case, she's a little guy. I don't know that it's going to give me much trouble, but I will second stamp it if I have to. Again, this is Crafter's Companion, just regular stamping paper. So it's possible that I need to stamp it again. I know with the Nina, it comes out really nice. But I, I always end up stamping it a second time just because I like the, <laughs> the vibrancy of the colors. And to prep this, I just rubbed it with an um, eraser. You don't always have to do this, but I just make a habit of it, just so it has some more uh, ability to kind of grab the color. Oh my goodness, I need to put these things to the side. I'm starting to get a pile of things here. I kind of feel like he should be red, but eh, I don't know. I'm not really good with birds. I have no idea what they're supposed to look like. <laughs> Except for if it's a hummingbird, you know, you just kind of play with it. So I'm going to use some red, maybe a little orangey, and black. I think that's probably all I'm going to need. And let's start with the lighter kind of orangey color. I'm just going to bring it in here. Kind of doing most of his head. And then I'm going to bring in that deeper red. All the way down here, maybe up the side here. And then take the black and we always do the little eye area, the beak. And I'm going to do the top of his head because I feel like those little hairs should be black. And then dot, dot, dot. At least it kind of does that just for funsies. And that was a quick one. So I'm just going to blow, make sure my paper's right in the corner here. And give it a stamp. You can do the same thing with this guy, the same kind of, you know, Local King coloring that we do. Aww, that's so sweet. He looks almost watercolor. If you want to hit him with some water, you could definitely get him looking like a watercolor. Just add a little water just to kind of soften him out. I'm going to do this again. And usually I get rid of the color that's already laying there, but this is kind of basic, not too much. So there's red. Red coming off the back on the little wings. All the way down. And then black up here. And the little eyes. Dot, 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 dot. Make sure that's still black in the same spot. So he's like a cardinal to you. He lived to me. And I don't even know if cardinals have black on them. I think they do. <laughs> I don't know why. That's what I think. So pretty. Love him. Okay. And then just uh, wipe this off. And you're ready to go for the next time. Let me put these things away and we'll cut out our um, right, little so images. Let's get our dies out.
I was just thinking while I'm working on this. Did I, I mentioned the name of this stamp set, didn't I? Yeah, Fleeting Beauty. Okay, I thought so. I was like, eh? I do remember saying those words. Okay, so with this guy, I'm just going to eyeball him. He, this one's pretty easy to see because he's doesn't have too much going on as far as like different areas here. So that's pretty easy to tell. Of course, I had to move it. Uh, where, okay. And he does have embossability, it looks like. So I might run him through with a piece of foam so that the little embossing comes up. And that's um, great. So I'm gonna actually cut this off. I could run both of these things through at the same time, but I'm just gonna not do that. <laughs> and then um, this one, let me get the stickiness off because it'll definitely stick to my paper. Um, again, just kind of looking at it, matching it up. I'll start with like the stump area. And then as you look through it, you can kind of see like here, if I had cut it, I can see I'm, I would cut off that little flower. And you can see all the white. So obviously it needs to come this way a little bit. And that's just kind of how I do it as I'm looking at it. What am I hitting and what possibly am I missing? So that looks really good right there. And this one also looks like it has embossing ability. I do already have embossing powder on this, so I don't really need that, but I think I'm still gonna run it through with a piece of foam uh, through my marquee. So obviously if you're using a different tool, uh, run it through however you need with your embossing. And um, I'll be right back. Okay. So I have my little foam there. And really if I wanted to, and it didn't push all the way through, but if you really pull, um, I could use this to pop him up too, just to give a little extra oomph on your card, but we will see. I might do that. I might not. Oh, careful, careful, careful. And this little scrap, you can always keep this, so next time you want to line up your, um, just like I showed you with the, uh, the balloon, right? Just keep this on here. And now I already have an aperture for the next time I want to use this. I was like, I think I missed it just a little bit on the tail. All right, and this guy, I'm just gonna pop it out. Wow, super detailed. I do have quite a bit of uh, tape on here. And this is another one you can use for an aperture next time, which I probably do, just because this is very intricate. And so I just go through and pop, 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 pop until this is loosened up enough to come out. Okay. So since this has shifted on me a little bit, I trimmed a little bit off the tail. Remember it was a lot of white right here. I just trimmed it off. That's probably all I need. And then this guy should be ready to go. Oh, it's so pretty. So pretty. That's what I was saying. I was wondering if I should stamp it on black paper because I thought um, the little areas, because you know, you have a little bit showing through. I think it'd be really effective if it was like on black to pop out. Okay. So this I actually trimmed down to four and um, like, let me see, four and a quarter. Like four and an eighth by five and um, three eighths. Just so it's a little bit, little bit smaller than like if you were going to layer this on a card. And I just wasn't sure exactly what I was going to do here. Should I layer them up? Maybe. Maybe I might pop that up on here. Give them a little... Hmm. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to do that. And then first I want to stamp the sentiment. And I think I'm just going to do this. I'm not sure in what, but... <laughs> uh, stamp it there. I just want to see about where I want to put it. Yeah, somewhere like that. All right, let me get some ink to uh, stamp okay. it. I'm just going to use my black soot. Again, I like to use this because it's not perfect and it looks kind of funky sometimes and that's kind of what I want. This is cut very close to the words but not super duper close. So what I'm going to do just to make sure that it's going to be straight. Um, what am I doing? I am going to stamp it. Well, you know what? Let me use this thing. 
Sorry guys, I'm being a little wishy-washy. I just want to make sure this is gonna be okay. And what you do is you use your stamp positioner. And these are not easy to come by anymore because a lot of people don't use red rubber stamps anymore, but um, this one's old. I know uh, you can find them. You can find them. So I'm gonna ink this up. It doesn't have to be perfect. You just have to have an idea of where this is gonna be. Actually, I'm gonna move it over. All right, so I just stamped it. And it's hard to see the letters, but they're there. And so what you do is you bring back your project. And all things being equal, if that's straight, you kind of bring over your words. And they look nice and straight there. And then you put position this. Okay. And then when I ink this up again, all I have to do is line it right up with this. Oh, move this over. And press down. And of course I stamped it higher than I had originally planned. <laughs> so pretty. Aww. Okay. Um, let me get the glues together and uh, center myself as far as what I'm going to do for the... Uh, decoration here. Okay, so I do have a card base here. This is just like a kind of really light teal color, uh, five and a half by eight and a half. I'm just going to fold it in half and I'm going to stick that down in just a second. What I want to do is go ahead and stick this to this to give that little guy a little dimension. And then I'm going to stick down obviously my card base. And I think I'm going to make even the, the branches kind of give a little dimension too. I'm not going to use the the foam for that, but I'm just going to use some 3D glue gel, so I'm just going to hold that guy down. And once it's dry, I'm going to trim away that little piece, because you guys recall I trimmed it my, down myself. And we're going to stick this down. Do, 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 where? Okay. And that'll be it. Um, thank you so much local king for saying these for review and for sponsoring a giveaway um and people will always appreciate a good giveaway this is very thin margins here on the side so i know that i don't want to smear my ink either so i'm going to see if i can do this very carefully i'm gonna give that some time to dry and i'll be right back now this is aside for just a second and i'm gonna turn this over and since my dimensional is almost on its last leg and I don't have enough to get into the little syringe, I'm just going to get some like this and dab, dab, dab on the back of different areas, okay? It's just a little bit tedious, but I will be right back. Okay, be careful with this. I'll just kind of place that here. So it's a little bit off what's going on there and then we'll place our little guy maybe there somewhere or should it be like on the thing okay he'll be floating off to the side of here so I'm gonna put some of this on him too even though here he has a little foam on him he needs a little a little more and a little bit chubbier than the piece that's under him because this needs to pop up higher so I'm getting a little more of that glue than I did for the tree. And that is it. So guys, follow the rules. Good luck. I hope you liked uh, today's kind of quick tutorial. I have a feeling this is going to take longer than I think in my head. I was like, oh, this is fast. <laughs> and then the little, um, the, uh, the one I did with the, uh, the elephant. So cute. So thanks for watching guys and good luck. And I will see you guys at the next one. Bye now.